Hello, free to play Padawans. As many of you already know, the Abyss has changed dramatically. It has introduced some new changes regarding Inazuma, new bosses, as well as new mechanics and things to take a look for. So today I want to show you, like just like as you just read on the title, why new Abyss 12 is a trap for any free to play player out there. Okay, before we get into it, need to make a disclaimer and it is that it's completely possible that as a free to play player you can 36 stars the new abyss without any problem but in order to do that you have been doing things right since day one you have been doing only right choices on regarding artifacts character builds weapon etc 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 but for the rest of our of the mortals out there as that as players like to have fun and take the game on a different level, not as a stressful, more like a, just a pure enjoyment, this new app is it's real hard. Well, we're here, we arrive, and while we get closer to it, I need you to let I need to let you know that I really did it. So this is me after doing it, so I have to so have my thoughts about it and yeah let me make it super clear i did not clear with 36r obviously and uh, it cost me quite some time but some time to figure it out for level 9 to 11 i had no problem at all i think it became even easier than before uh, maybe the new pyro hypostasis it got a bit tricky but with any a high true character you should be fine but the real real issue is on floor 12. all right so let's jump right into the abs on the first half this is me doing it by for the first time and uh, we're gonna uh, comment it a couple of things okay for this fair floor chamber we have the new samurais from inazuma and let me tell you they're really 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 difficult to fight for they're unable to be grouped, so any animal character is totally disabled on this room. And there is also this electro uh, thing on the middle that applies the uh, buff as a shield, the electro shield to all its, the enemies on the room. So it makes it extra difficult to fight for these enemies. Yeah? And it also disables the electro characters that we may have on our team. So we need to fight this floor with pyro and try your main dps and sub dps's this is the first problem that we have at free to place if we haven't done meta currently we are now find a situation where we don't have a pure dps cryo and a pure dps pyro this is one of my cases since i decided to build fissel kishin beidou ningguan barbara and razor i wasted so many resources on characters that are totally useless on this floor okay so this is the first 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 mistake previously on the uh, previous uh, abyss we needed like nemo or cryo but not on a big quantity like this because these enemies has not even get higher on difficulty their health is higher and this one has also a new mechanic where on occasions they will parry and has an increase on defense Okay, so this makes the floor even, even harder. Moving on, there's also the buff that this uh, new Abyss applies to us with this 15% uh, defense threat if we manage to stay with our ultimate fully charged. Once again, this is only utilized by characters like Hu Tao or Ganyu, the two main uh, meta characters on any team right now. So for me, as I have a D-Look or a Chang Ling, those both rely on using his ultimate to deal the higher damage. Same for Ching Yu or Mai Kaya that you are watching currently. So the split screen is even even slower. Let's keep moving. Since a piece came out, now we have a debuff. <coughs> a debuff which is also implied to the electro one on the room which is that for a certain period of time any of our character will be able to use to gain energy recharge so our elemental boost 
are completely useless on that period unless recharged previously. And for the next 10 to 20, we'll gain double the energy recharge. What that means is previously the app is what's really important to have a proper energy recharge on your sub DPSs or your supports. Now this is also totally un, uh, not gonna work at all, my bad. And so if you have, what I mean, if, if you have any energy recharge sounds, they're not worth it. You should change it by attack percent sounds, but that's the case if you're lucky enough to have multiple ones spare for you to find it. My conclusion, this new app is, or at least this new room, it's for me the hardest one to clear. We haven't fight enough of these samurais and we are not used to this new mechanic of energy recharge, so we take up us a while until we figure out the proper compositions, rotation, etc, etc, etc. Okay, just a new, a last thing to point out. When I finish up this uh, first clear, I rush and build my Chong Yun so I could have a third cryo in order for me to clear. And with the national team come with this uh, Shin Kyu, Shang Lin, Chong Yun, and Bennett, I was able to uh, two stars this first floor. Okay, so just take that in mind if you have uh, those characters. For the second part, it's much much easier than the previous one. We are facing two Fatuis, and yeah, we have the same debuffs, uh, the Electro one that gains shields on the floor, so any Electro DPS is totally out of the equation. I don't have any other uh, main DPSs, so I needed to bring my Shangling with my Kachin in order to do something, but I really recommend you, if you can, summon for Ayaka or use any of the previous character. I commend it. Uh, for the rest, nothing else. Like uh, as I said, uh, Sucros or Venti are totally out. They cannot be grouped by any means. As you can see, the mages teleport away. These new things uh, are even harder to fight. There's so many like uh, the small flies uh, around. So the room comes even harder and harder. Yeah, that's pretty much my conclusion. Built into the meta. This is the thing that you should know from this uh, abyss. You need to get Pyro and you need to get Cryo as soon as possible if you want to progress on the abyss. If you're doing off meta comps, off meta stuff, and doing weird things like I've done on the past, yeah, they're totally out. And you should focus on what is really currently going on the game. Briefly, let's talk about the second second floor, where chamber two and three of the IVs. This is not the highest difficulty, but again, you need to get cryo and pyro DPS strong enough to get through this abyss, as this is not an, an abyss of a, of a, a mm, resonances or reaction. This is pure strong DPS. What you need, you need to get your attack as high as possible with your crit rate and crit damage. And apart from that, you're seeing the enemies, a couple of big creatures, and after this we have, uh, I don't remember. Yeah, what we get for this uh, second part of the floor is the Electro, Neo Electro big creature and a Hydro uh, mate. Not big of a problem, they're quite easy to fight. They won't bring you much of a fight, so still having great DPSs will help quite a lot. And now it's time to get into the second part second half of chamber 2 this is the third reason i think this domain is not for free to play players look how much time it cost me to start dealing damage to this magu kenki these are seconds so viable for us that don't have that, those high enough damage numbers to deal with them quick enough 
So it's time that I think the game was mal designed, bad designment. But yeah, if you haven't fought enough of this Magu Kenki, you can practice them on, on Inazuma right now or here on the Abyss. You need to get used to them. They're not hard, but they require again high DPS number. So yeah, again, not a problem. If you build into meta, this should be easy peasy. And now it's time to get into the last chamber, chamber 3, first half. Again, this is one of the less difficult rooms of all three. Of, uh, first, we have this... Uh, this ring hunter, where we fought many of them. You know how to disable them, you just need an archer and the risk is just pure damage and nothing else. I'm running my dialogue with my supports since they're not that high developed and Animo is totally unpayable right now. I don't do those high numbers that I was doing on the previous Abyss. That's been my main nerf. Uh, if you built any more characters previously, they're out and not worth it to run on this new abyss. I still managed to kill this first one in a minute, but here's come the problem. These three ruin mechanism from Inazuma came in, and again, for us to defeat those ruin defenders and crushers or scouts, we don't know how they work, weak points are, etc. So we need to get used to them gonna cost us some time and some rotation to find their weak spots but I think soon enough we'll be able to but this again is a trap for free to play players since we're not able to defeat defeat them so easily with a high damage we're suffering and this is real bad And here's come the last part of my Abyss, uh, Abyss try. Again, one ring guard, and after this, we'll have some ring scouts and destroyers. Again, those new enemies from Inazuma. The Abyss is easier as you have gone through. The only problem, as I said, was the biohastasis. And I'm just going to repeat myself this is an Abyss that checks if you build correctly. So, all of you out there, Get your Pyro DPS that you should have at least right now. You have Bennett and Shangling as four stars. Those are really good and will be more than enough for a first half clear. And for the second half, get your Cryo DPS out now. If you don't want Kaya or Chun Yun, pull for Ayaka because it's really viable for you right now to get those characters. We need to build essentials before we move on to. If you're saving for Bal because you're thinking that she's gonna be so cool and perfect, remember that you still have two weeks when Joy Media came out and the new uh, version came. So it's around four weeks since you pulled for Ayaka to fully, fully take on Bal. Okay? It's plenty of time. They're giving so many primos. We have the anniversary coming out. So please pull for Ayaka. If you don't have those cryo characters built okay with this i'm wrapping up the video i hope i could help you take some advice from me and really really work on meta composition look videos out there and please build your team properly with this i hope i could help you if not tell me down below what i was missing or what i'm wrong and i'll see you on the next one